Welcome to my channel. I'm Tom. Data the tax, a bit about the data economy. Today we will talk about human networks. Common saying, three points of scale and seven points of context. A person longing for success should meet someone helpful, but it is hard. A comedian famously said, give me a lever and a place to stand. I will move the world. We see these helpful guys are the lever. Human network mining can help find them based on social media data. Data mining techniques belong to data technology that the data economy relies on. In particular, data mining drives up, up the ideas such as efficiency in storage, indexing, query processing from database systems, sampling, estimation, and hypothesis testing from statistics and uh, search algorithm modeling techniques and the learning theories from artificial intelligence, pattern recognition, and machine learning. Data mining has also been quick to adapt ideas from other areas, including high performance, parallel computing, optimization, visualization, and so forth. Here we give a definition of social media data. Social media data is the correct data from social networks showing individuals' activities. Using such a data, it is possible to check how people interact with specific contact and channels. Contact like uh, comments, posts, and short videos. The channels are social network sites and uh, member applications including TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Reports show that in 2017, every minute on Facebook, 510,000 comments are posted, 293,000 status are updated, and 136,000 paid photos are uploaded. Since 2013, the number of tweets each minute has increased by 60% to more than 474,000 tweets per minute. Instagram users uploaded over 100 million posts every day. That is close to 70,000 million photos and videos every minute. How do we obtain social media data? Grabbing social media data online is challenging, but not impossible. A web caller can usually be expe expected. A caller is a program that visits online sites and reads their web pages or other information for data. Otherwise, standards APIs provided by certain social networking sites or member applications will work. Twitter has one. Uh, what data mining techniques are applied in social media data? I'll take an example from one of my prior papers. The article grew out of a hypothesis from my colleague Lorna. He assumed that unsolicited comments on social media could potentially replace hospital questionnaires, but he didn't have the data. I used a caller to obtain the entire Facebook pages of the Harvard Medical School affiliated Dana Farber Cancer Institute. We found that no patient were commenting there at all. So Lorman's assumption was not correct. I use a native model called the TET Dirichlet Allocation, LDA. The input is 4,000 comments and the output is same word automatically sorted into a given number of classes 
we manually read the words of each class to summarize a topic. Of course, there are more advantage methods such as text summarization, but we didn't use them at that time. A total of 10 topics were identified, grading 17%, um, comments about the cancel institution 16%, blessing 10%, time 10%, treatment 9%, expression of optimism 7%, tumor 7%, father's finger 6%, and other family members and uh, friends, 8%, leaving 5% of comments unclassified. I will list its attention in the comment area below this video. This is just an example of analyzing free text social media comments. We actually interested in social media data mining is about detecting human networks. Network Analytics provides a means of interconnection the, pro the complex world of entities. Human networks can be based on six degrees of separation, as known as small world phenomenon, glow out of work conducted by Harvard social psychologist Stanley Milgram in the 1960s. Six degree of separation is the idea that all people are six or fewer social connections away from each other. As a result, a chain of friend of a friend statements can be made to connect any two people in a maximum of six steps. It is easy to find that LinkedIn is using this theory to make money. What service is that free for three degree of strong connections? You then can check out this user's shares, view, or engage with their contacts. But uh, weaker one out of the three strong connections require a fee. For example, my friend's father is within three degree of strong connections, right? But a calling of my friend's father belongs to the weaker. I should pay a fee to see his or her data. In fact, such a survey belongs to a data product. The so-called data product is a processing of forming value-added value by analyzing or mining data. Therefore, the essence of human network mining is the capitalization processing, which transforms social media data access into social media data capital. Here's another example, also from my paper. I conducted a social media data experiment aiming to quantify image data capital that may exist in multiple capital categories, such as social capital and contact capital. I located a Facebook pages posts of two virtual capital groups as the data source. It is between October 2016 and September 2018. One is a private group, one is a public group. Such a network can reflect at least three aspects, outreach, interaction, and income. Outreach is a positive action to solicit a response is from any person interested in the service offered. Interaction can be expressed as time-limited conversation leader or conversation driven postings, comments, or other activities. Income comes to an aggregation effect of the above two actions over time, such as obtain in broad 
awareness, attracting potential customers, and gaining followers. In addition, I consider the time issues to reflect the interpersonal opportunity cost. Compared to typical circle of three to five years to get a venture capital funding, we may have the opportunity to shorten it by finding the right person in the network. My funding is pretty firm. The privacy blocks network is closed and the public one is open. Now, I'll give a comparison of human network mining and human fresh search. Human fresh search has two characteristics. First, it involves strong offline environments, including information acquisition, slow offline channels, and other types of offline activism. Second, it always realizes on volunteer processing. Whenever users gather together to share information, conduct an investigation, and perform other actions concerning people's or events of common interest. Solving mystery story is one of them. For example, Twitter user at Doso posted a photo to ask, where might a check be going? Um, which military barrack is closest to this location? I will list this link under this video as well. You guys may wish to take a look. It is very interesting. From a perspective of the poor associated with information and its relative nature, Human network mining and human fresh search are similar. Sharing information can provide you with monetized value. However, human fresh search in real society often represents the problems regarding to cyber violence, moral criticism, and the privacy pro Protection. Human network mining is about using better data technology and less private data to discover variable relationships, block slow mating limits, and expand human connections. Then, there are at least three differences between the two towards revenue and the utilization of a private data. Regarding the issues of privacy, the so-called free service in the early digital era in essential is an exchange processing of service and personal data. Service providers collect the data from involved individuals through the process. We are Starling wide eyes eyed at Google and Facebook to comply about their data activities, but healthcare providers did it in the same way. We make our personal data as a currency to get a healthier body from hospitals. The current inequity lies in that these service providers continue to process or reprocess the data they initially gathered to be newer data products, but didn't distribute data profits to the individuals who provided the data. I believe such an inequity can be solved by the future data economy. Let's take an example below. Suppose you are looking for a new firm pen, an adaptive system residing perhaps on your 
smartphone access is your past uh, shopping data to gather that you bought a pen for infection cock tops last time and also that you left a social review of it passing the review the system understands that the pen's coding really matter to you and that you favor uh, a ceramic one Acquainted with this performance, uh, it then looks at online markets for optimize matches. Even factoring in the carbon uh, footprint of the delivery, uh, because it know how worried you are about it. It negotiates automatically with sales. And because you are ready to pay by direct uh, transfer, it is able to get a discount. With a single tap, your transaction was completed. This is a typical op operation in the ex existing internet economy. It is easy to find that this example uses too much private data that belongs to a shallow data product. An instance with less user privacy is first, the algorithm performs real-time analysis on relevant uh, relevant data on the internet and social media when search the pen. For example, the comments on Facebook are generally related to the gift involving logistics and uh, Amazon Amazon remarks Amazon's remarks about uh, product specifications about user experience secondly best matching the demands such as the pen coding and size in the market is based on the consumer hobbits from the location of your living area, such as Cambridge. Compared with our own search, the algorithm can refer to more variables and to variated more products and services. Neither does the algorithm tie the earlier, nor is it distracted in its decision advisor by price, derailed by connective bias, or load by clever marketing, while still using money as a story of value, as well as seeing price as a part of the information, we are no longer focused on price broader that may help us get rid of vanity. Our perspective yards better matches are a, a more infantry transaction and we believe this uh, fragment markets. For instance, consider healthcare, living area, and a carbon emission when Buying a fry pan may help combine e-commerce markets with energy markets where natural gas consum consumption may be on the time of cooking, trans transportation and logistics markets and healthcare markets together. This is the comparison between the internet economy and the future data economy. From this, we obtain a measurement from different levels of data products, that is, whether the product uses more privacy data or not. That's what this uh, absurd is about. Since it is the first one, I probably give a lot of definitions and uh, concepts. Don't worry about it. 
I will repeat them in future uh, as as and so see you next time. Bye.